Hey guys, today I'm drawing a beautiful cat for you. This cat's name is Little Fa. Hopefully you've seen the picture on the cover of this video, but I actually have the cat picture on my iPhone, which is just off screen. I'm drawing this cat two ways today. The first way I'm using water soluble pencils, and then later on I bring in a liner pen because I just wasn't getting the results that I wanted with the pencil. So right now I'm just doing the structure, the anatomy of the face and the character of the face. And um, I used to do pet portraiture a long time ago and I forgot how challenging it can be to draw a black dog or cat. So um, I do have some challenges here with the gradation of the coloring of the fur and stuff as you'll see later when I show the picture next to Little Fa. I was having some trouble with my pencil as well. Um, I sharpened it like 15 times before I actually got a lead to not break. It's the general sketch and wash pencil. I must have got a bad one or something. It's a really, really soft lead and then it's also water soluble so you can paint it after. And I also didn't use my favorite paintbrush for this because I usually save these water barrel brushes for when I'm feeling particularly lazy or I don't need any specific, you know, detailing or any specific situation going on with my brush. But I really should have used a much more soppy wet brush with some paper towels so I could have had more precision in um, gradating the color. So here's where I brought out the liner pen because I just wasn't getting what I wanted from the pencil and the deep, rich black color that I needed from it and the precision as well. So varying results, totally not the pen's fault. It's just I had already done like 95% of the art in pencil and the pen just doesn't really jive with the pencil. This is my new favorite liner pen though. I'll link it in the description below. Anyway, I like how it came out, but I don't love it. So I thought I would draw a little fa again, but this time on black paper with Caran d'Ache Neocolor crayons. They are water soluble, but I'm not using water with them today. I'm just drawing with them. They pop really, really nicely on black paper. They actually pop on any paper, but I just thought it would be really cool to do little fa, who's a black cat on, a, or, you know, black face cat on the black paper with these awesome Neocolors which are so dense and rich. I just I just love these. And I actually did another video with Kieran Dash Neo Colors and I will link that in the little eye up in the corner so you can watch that later if you want. I'll also put it in the description. I've drawn a few cats lately. I'm working on a little cat project, but um, this is not something I do every day, drawing a cat from life from a, um, a realistic cat picture. And I thought it would be really fun to do it with these Neo Colors because I really love them, but you can't get a lot of precision with them because, well, you can't you could sharpen them if you put them in the freezer because they're really soft. They're kind of like coal eyeliner pencils in a way, like they're smushy or they can be, they can get smushy. So they really aren't very conducive to putting in a pencil sharpener. And I just, honestly, I don't want to bother. I would rather work with the snubby stubby tip and um, find corners and angles and stuff to use. So that's how I like to use them. And I really like the effect that I get with trying to find some precision and then also using them really densely in other places so in other ways so I wasn't thrilled with how things were going so I thought I would throw the background in because I thought maybe I'll be able to see the cat's character better if I have a background and it worked it actually worked really well so I'm really digging the blue background and it also sort of gives me a context to um, finish the cat in and um, it helped me a lot to see the forest for the trees, so to speak. So here I'm just finishing. So now I'm trying to pull out areas of light and shadow, larger areas, larger swaths of tones and values in the picture. And that's what I'm doing here. I'm trying to pull out the areas of light and not be so precise. When I look at the photo of Little Fa, I'm trying to see it in a larger way and not dig into the detail so much. So that's what I'm doing here. So one of the challenges I had was using the black Caran d'Ache and really trying to get those blacks black and trying to get the lighter parts to pop. So you can see within this whole drawing that that is one of the things that I'm trying to work on here. But um, all in all, I'm really happy with how this one came out. I want to thank Little Fa's owner for sending over the picture so I could draw her. She's very beautiful. So, so that's it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel and it helps other people to find videos like this one. So 
I really appreciate that. And if you like this video, please consider subscribing. I do art videos and I also do art biz videos for artists. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.